We'd like to welcome senior Austin Routon to the Sports Connection. He'll serve as Warren Central Center in 2011. Austin, thank you for coming by. Thank you. How are you doing, Austin? Good doing to see you. Good, you. good, thank you. Well, you know, this is the first time we've seen these jerseys. I, we talked to Coach about it, but uh, what, you, you like the uh, the dragon pattern there on the side? Yeah, scene? I like them a lot, actually. My offensive lineman, Coach, Coach Campbell, he really, you know, picked them out for us, and, and we've all voted for them, and we really liked it team-wise. But, but really, Austin, as an offensive lineman, as tough as you guys are, you really don't care what you wear, do you? <laughs> I mean, Honestly, not you really. could wear a T-shirt over that thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. As long as you got some good cleats, then you're good to go, <laughs> there you go. basically. Well, Austin, uh, you know, talk about how things are going so far at camp. Obviously, everyone's been dealing with the heat. You know, you, you, everyone's done it. But, um, you know, how are things going? Uh, really, it's a, a lot of switching around. Like, we'll have morning practice one day, and then the next day we'll have afternoon practice. It just basically, coaches just base it on ear and basically what the weather will be the next day. You know, Austin, you've had uh, two fantastic seasons uh, as a Dragon. You're a senior this year, and just kind of talk a little bit about uh, this being your season, senior season and, you know, how you, you want it to play out. Well, basically just championship. Yeah. Obviously, we want to go farther than we did last year. It really hurt, you know, losing by one point, and basically we would have basically went to the state championship. Talk a little bit about last year there, Austin, and specifically the end of that game. I mean, you guys, that was a battle with Christian County. Um, when did you guys start to realize that you guys had a team capable of making the run that you did? Um, probably the second half of the regular season, we went on that 8-0 streak. Mm -hmm. You know, we was, you know, beating Bowling Green and everybody, and we was kind of underdog in a lot of the games. Well, and, you know, you mentioned the Purples, and obviously that has become – a huge rivalry, and uh, that's going to be a date that everybody circles on their calendar. But you got a tough schedule this year, and and you know talk about some of the other guys that are going to be in the offensive line with you as well, opening up these holes so you guys can score some points. Well, we lost our center last year, and I played tackle, so they put me at center to lead the offensive line. But we have uh, Andreas at left tackle. He's taking my position. He played a little bit last year. He switched in with JT, who's a senior. So he has he has somewhat some kind of you know, and then um, we have Kyrie at the ne the other tackle. He has a lot of position there. He's played last year and the year before that. And then we have Tucker. He actually played a little bit of tackle last year, but we moved him in at guard because he's more fast. We need somebody to pull out there a little bit quicker. And then my right guard is Austin Shakavich. I've played with him since little league, so we yeah. have a lot of chemistry, me and him. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, now, will this be your first year playing center entirely? Have you played center at all? Actually, I started my first real start in varsity with my sophomore year against Bowling Green, and that's when I played center. And I really had no, like, center ability then. I never played center before that, so like, Coach Conlon just put me in there against Bowling Green and did pretty good, and then they switched me at tackle my junior year, and then I'm back at center this year. Are you happy to be back there? I mean, do you enjoy it? Yeah, I like, I like center a lot. Uh, a little bit better than tackle. I mean, tackle, I like pulling and stuff. Center, you can't really do that, but I still like it a lot. Would you rather run the ball? Like a Sometimes I actually feel like running the ball. <laughs> <laughs> every lineman, yeah. you can ask a lineman every time. They want to, you know, like on the two-yard line, coach puts you back there and oh, just yeah. punch it in. Yeah. All right, fumble rooski. Yeah, I don't, is that even legal? I don't even think they can do that anymore. I don't know. I learned something <laughs> off camera a few minutes ago. I'm not even going to mention that deal, but... Talk a little bit about uh, kind of the brotherhood of, of the offensive line. I mean, it's a special group of guys. Uh, uh, is it that way with your line? I mean, you guys hang out, you you know, you work out together. and Yeah, like we, we really hang out off, off the field a lot. Coach Campbell has a lot to do with that because we didn't really have an offensive coach or offensive lineman coach, really. And once he came, you know, we had a lot of chemistry together, and Coach Rogers brung a lot of chemistry when he came. That's how we started winning a lot. So basically, you just had you have to have trust in the guy beside you. Yeah. So if you do 100% good, then you know that he's going to do it. And then the running back, you also have to have trust in them too. How much are you looking forward to August 20th? Oh, a lot, really. <laughs> I like. I, I, I honestly. I'm sorry. Coach, August 19th. You're playing on Friday, not yeah, Saturday anymore. Coach is really going to hate us say this, but I hate off season. I hate. I really <laughs> hate it. I rather just you know in the last season game and then a week later start the season all over again because I really like games like are you, this season. Are you doing a lot of blocking sled right now and, and that kind of stuff? Cause yeah, that, that's an everyday thing. I can see where that yeah. gets. Now, does the coach, the offensive line coach, does he get on the uh, sled and, <laughs> and talk to you guys as you're 
Yeah, sometimes it's one coach, sometimes it's three coaches. Nice. Yeah. A little incentive, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I got to believe, too, part of that is – now, you don't hit. I mean, you don't tackle the guys. Obviously, you're no lineman, but uh, you want to be lined up against people not wearing the same jersey as you. Yeah, I, I hate practicing with my own players because I really – there's <laughs> it's kind of like it's the same thing every day. And then again, you're like, I don't really want to hurt my other teammate, especially when the season's coming like next week. You just want to see different jerseys. Now, you know, you play a pretty tough opponent there in week one, uh, you know, a team that most of us aren't familiar about, but I'm sure, you know, you've been educated a little bit about this yeah, team. Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about them. I've heard that they've won two of the last three seasons they've won state, so I know that they're a pretty good team. Do you break down as, a, as an offensive lineman the, their defensive line usually during the season? I mean, do you know kind of who you're going to be going against uh, on that defensive line? Yeah, we usually, after a Friday night game, we start that Sunday, and it's a film day. We just watch film on the team we're going to be playing, and then Coach Howard really gives us a good look, our defensive coach, of what they're going to do during team. Yeah. So, yeah, we usually have a lot of thought in what they're going to do. Awesome. That's thanks really a great. lot for coming by. We appreciate it. Good luck this great year. Great seeing you, man. Thank, Thank you very you. much. We'll be right back to wrap things up. Stay tuned. You're watching the Sports Connection on WBKO.